Hey, I'm not so a strainer, and what about the rival in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? Let's get into it! We've speculated about evil teams, possible returning Pokemon, symbols and cities, and a lot more. Really, quite a lot more, there's like 25 different videos on my Gen 9 playlist. But one thing we've never talked about was the rival. Of course, we still don't know who our rival will truly be, or if there will be multiple ones like in Sword and Shield or Black and White, but one thing we know for a fact. There will be one rival for sure. The last few games were not very memorable when it comes to our nemesis in the Pokemon world. Trace was a very toned down version of what we had in the past with Blue and Hop and How were… well, they were memorable, but for all the wrong reasons. I know Hop has quite more fans than How because his story was a little bit more fleshed out and it wasn't as annoying as his Alolan counterpart, but still, we won't be thinking of him in the future when we talk about rivals of the past, at least not in a positive light. Now, Bean and Marnie are without a doubt the ones you'll remember. Same thing with Gladian. Marnie mostly because of the design, of course, Bean and Gladian though, because it felt good to beat them. They were cocky, they pretty much thought they had the victory before the battle, and you proved them wrong. That felt nice. I didn't feel good about beating Hop time and time again, the guy just wanted to be acknowledged by his brother, live up to his legacy. And he was nice to us. Same thing with How, he even chose the Pokemon that's weak against us and after losing, he claims he's just having fun, he's just a nice guy. It's exactly the same issue as with evil teams, or supposedly evil teams like Team Yell and Team Skull, it's just not the same thing, your wins don't feel like they hold the same weight. Looking at what we know of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, we are told that our outfits will depend on what game we play, either orange or violet and they clearly show you a house with an orange roof and one with a violent roof. The shields we see in the room where the guard is also show us two different crests, one with oranges and another with grapes. This clearly implies the existence of two different houses or two different ideologies. Most people believe that our characters are school students due to their attires and that might really be the case. So if this really ends up being confirmed, our rival or rivals will surely be part of the opposing school or family. Basically, two different ideologies clashing against each other. This can't be done in the, oh, both things can coexist but my family doesn't believe in that kind of way. It should end up like that, you know, teaching a lesson and all that, but it should go from arrogant to understanding, not from understanding to really understanding. Make us want to win the battles against them, not just to progress in the story, make us salivate at the thought of seeing them in the distance by making us think, I can't wait to beat you again, instead of, what, another battle? But there should also be a focus on their character, who they are and what they do and why they do what they do. Rivals are important as they are a great constant goal and if done right, can make a game a lot better just by existing. They don't all need to be arrogant of course, but there has to be a change or a powerful goal to drive them. Silver was one of the darkest rivals we ever had, and we saw him go from hateful to caring, not only by his words but also his Golbat evolving into Crobat. Yu wasn't hateful or arrogant but had a powerful goal that drove him, getting his sister Sporloin back from Team Plasma. They had character, and that is the most important part. It's easier to write character if the change is very noticeable, like silver, and harder if it is more specific goal, like Hughes. But when it works, it really does work, and I'm sure Game Freak can make lightning strike again and again and again. What about you? Do you feel we'll get back to memorable rivals in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? Let me know in the comments down below. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and also ring the bell so you know the next video is out. You can follow me on social media and Twitch, as I'm there Wednesday to Sunday, not Saturday, or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.